Hello! You know, in this game, Final Fantasy XIV, I've always viewed healing as more of a suggestion than, than a rule, really. I mean, why else would they give us all of these cool DPS spells, you know, like, like this one? And you know what? This guy right here, you see him? I'm fairly certain that he was also a healer. On second thought, about 80% of the spells on this bar are healing spells, so maybe I'll teach you that. Ah uh, yes, by the way, I came here to Kugane because I thought you guys should call me Healer Senpai. That's right. Healer Senpai. But first, this video is sponsored by Ragnarok Labyrinth, the fast-moving MMORPG. Very beloved series with over a hundred million players battle against monsters in the adventure field with friends and level up your characters. If you've played Ragnarok online before, you'll feel right at home. If Ragnarok Labyrinth looks interesting to you, check it out in the description below. Also, there's a coupon code LABYRINTHG, it's case sensitive, and it'll give you one costume box and a hundred thousand zenny. Please enjoy. And now back to the video. Next is teaching you how to do a dungeon. Insta-cute! Have I convinced you to play healer yet? Somebody in this dungeon, it's their first time. Uh... I'm going to make sure their first time is just absolute perfection. First, you pop sprint. This encourages the tank in turn to pop sprint and maybe want to pull more. And then we proceed to not heal a tank whatsoever. Holy is your friend. Want to know why? Because holy actually stuns the enemies. They're actually not damaging the tank. It's actually pretty freaking cool. Oh, the tank seems to be dying a little bit, but that's okay. We'll wait. And at the last possible second, benediction. Oh. Uh, all right, we'll just continue holying and that's just fine. Another fun thing that can happen is the tank pops Superbolide right after you pressed Benediction. For the uninitiated, Superbolide will actually uh, bring the tank's health down to one. Um, and that's bad because Benediction could have been very useful there. If that ever happens to you, you can just start crying and I think the tank will understand. Maybe we'll pop a, a region on the tank. You don't necessarily have to do that. I like to do that though because I'm bad and don't know when damage is gonna come out. So region takes care of that for me. Uh, 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 uh. We fall! Our health falls! Oh, I hope they don't die. I'm a little busy right now. Hope you don't die. I look pretty cool doing this, don't I? I'm a little spinny spin. I like hover hover over the ground like I'm a freaking angel. I'm pretty... I completely forgot about the wing ability. I haven't used it this whole video. Yeah, that's a really good ability. Don't be like me. You should use that. I'll show you how we do another pull. We run along with the tank. Pop a shield on him while he's doing the pull. Gives him a little bit of extra health, you know, for, for him to complete it. All right, we are ready here. We're good to go. Pop a swift cast holy to get the stun out of the way. Then we go fast. Oh, maybe we pop our wings. This is the time Larry will pop his wings. And now we just spam the holies in between, right? Uh, stand in that because it's all right. I did not listen to myself. I got a little scared and I ran away. And yeah, th this is how you, you heal. This is it. This is healing. And it, it goes without saying, but you can do that on all the healers, right? All, all the healers do that. Uh, White Mage is just a little bit extra nice in dungeons because holy stuns. But uh, the other healers have AoEs and, and those work too. Don't be afraid trying this out on your first times if you got to learn. Everybody learns somewhere and it, it, it's okay to let the tank die sometimes while you're learning. Don't do it all the time like me. Oh, fun fact on this boss, you can just stack. So like this guy that's running away, um, you could just get over here and yeah, we could... Oh, I got I got them fairly stacked up. Pretty good, pretty good. And then we're gonna do the good old Swift Cast Medica too because I'm scared and frightened. And that's all right. It's okay to be scared and frightened sometimes. It's all just part of the job, part of the healing job. Are we gonna die? Are we, are we, is this bad? Not if we kill the boss first. See, the enemies cannot hurt you if they are dead. I'm drinking Coca-Cola. That person was new. How did they know to get right in the hole? <gasps> they must have watched a Mr. Happy video. And see, I'm really far away from everybody, so I pop my wings, and it, it's going to reach everybody because the wings are just so freaking big that... Wait, please don't die. Ba, 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 
the benediction. I'm here. Yes, it's me. The healer. The white mage. Glare. Wait, I don't have glare. Oh, this is terrible. Uh, where's protect? Gotta put protect on every... Wait a minute. Oh, shadow bringers. Wait, was it gone in Stormblood? Like, when was protect gone? DPS players, they really don't care about health bars. They move it all the way over here. So as a healer, I like to put it over towards the center of my screen where, oh, hi. As a healer, you should always be looking for the fewest instances where you must absolutely heal. In most cases, your co-healer will do it for you. In which case you assert your healer dominance and keep casting glare, AKA stone, AKA whatever it is your DPS singular button is. Now, now, a little caveat here. When I mean absolutely must heal, I mean don't let anybody die, okay? You're, first and foremost, your job is to not let anybody die. We got the PhDs. We're the ones with the PhDs over here. We know how to take care of people as a doctor. Ah, yes, a team member died. That was not my fault, you see. I was, um, uh... And then they say thank you. I let them die. I raise them and benediction them and they thank me for it. Oh, we didn't quite talk about this, but if you're on keyboard and mouse, I prefer to click on people's names here in the party list here. I think it's a little bit easier for me than needing to find wherever the hell they are over here and trying to click on somebody. Sometimes you end up getting aggro from all that AOE healing. If this is the case, run straight to your tank. Make sure you run to the tank and not sprint away. Please do not sprint away. And that's it. That's all I've got. I, I hope Healer Senpai could learn you some stuff. Thank you. Have a good day.